everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are back on the Reef server today. This is episode 6, and today we're going to start the project that I spoke about in episode 4. I want to say thank you for joining me. I want to say thank you for all the likes and the comments. Those have been great. So we're going to get right into this because I really want to do this. I feel like I'm a little bit behind, so we're just going to right get into it. I have started to make this pillar right here out of stone brick, as you can see, and this is where the center of the new mob farm is going to be. That's the center point of it, and up there is where I'm going to start. I could start it a little lower, but I think I'm going to start up there. I also want to make a little bit of a platform here that we can uh, set up a bed and set up supplies and that sort of thing. So we're going to do that right now, set up a little space here, just enough so that we can have a place to sleep. Sleep the night away, because currently nobody is on the server, which is good for us. Okay, and we've got a bed with me. There we go. We'll sleep the night through just so we bind it at this point. So the first step in this process is this is where the, the drops will eventually end up. We'll be right up there. And so I'm going to pillar up there. I'm going to then place the hopper and chests down. And we'll start to build this first section. Um, I guess I could make a ladder up there. I'll, I'll get the pieces later. Why not? Okay. Okay, so right here is actually where I want the hopper to go. I want to go outward, and I want there to be chests below it. So let's see here. We're going to do this real quick here. There's a chest there, and we'll put one to the side of it. And I want one on top of it. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. And, uh, okay. Now we want to have a hopper into that one right here. Let's see, back up one. There we go. Right there, and the hopper going down. See this here? There we go. Now I'm going to change this a little bit, I think. But that's the basics of where the center of this farm will be. Now, what I have to do now is I have to basically put from the center here, go seven blocks each direction and make it a big square let me do that real quick all right now that i've done this i have a little platform that's seven plus one plus seven that's 15 by 15 okay i had to do the math there because i hadn't done it yet now off off of this i need to go up a layer and i need to go around this whole thing and then go back from this point here i need to have a total of seven blocks so one two actually, i actually do eight that might be better three four five Counting with Tinker, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I need to fill that all the way around. And right here is going to be the border wall. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. If it hasn't become apparent, this is basically going to be the catch basin for all the drops with water flowing down into the hopper. Okay, so we're not going to put the water in yet. What I want to do right now is I want to make, there's a border for this farm, the actual killing area. This is the wrong block to use. Um, and it is a little lag there. There it is. Okay. Basically, I want to go up four blocks. Okay. And I want to make a diagonal line going over to there, over there, and there, and back. Okay. But only two rows worth. Okay. So, as an example, I'll just do part of this one here. Oops. That's good. Okay. And basically then, this is the block here that I want to keep. This is not. So this would have to go away here. I'll clean that up a little bit. But I'm going to go all the way around. And then after that, we'll fill in the center part. Okay, we have the border up there. I got some blocks that I have uh, not picked up, but that's okay. So this is the area where the monsters will fall down to and drop and usually dive from the fall. And if not, we're going to be using some magnet blocks. Now, eventually then the water will flow the items out to this other catch basin, which will throw it into the hopper, okay? So from, I put a block here. This is going to be a space gap. We're going to go five blocks, okay? Get rid of this here. And because we're going at an angle, you see it opens up a space. We're going to go back one and go five more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to keep this pattern until we basically have formed a ring all the way around. Let me get that done right now for you. Okay, I've done the ring here all the way around. That's the area where when the mobs get flushed off, or rather the items, if it happens to be a mob that survives the fall, for instance, somebody like a skeleton that has a feather falling boots on, 
that doesn't die, they get pushed onto this layer here uh, for sure, okay? Now I put a block up here because I'm gonna work on the rest of this, which is actually a layer higher, but I'm gonna build it from the bottom while I can, okay? So this centerpiece right here is supposed to be a plus, okay? like that and now all I need to do is from this layer here is just fill it out until it gets to that edge and it's a little difficult it's kind of tight in here but that's okay and then once this gets done I'll probably be putting in the water so let me fill this next section in I had to go back to get some buckets so I could get the water in and it looks pretty cool so far there's a lot of work I still have to do and we're going to do that in just a little bit. Let me get some things done here. There's a couple of things that I need to get done. One is I need to finish building this ladder way up. We're going to do that. Get some wood here. Sticks. That. Ladders. That. There we go. Okay, so let's make this uh, way up first and finish this up. Okay. You can see here, i got to get the ladders out first. I have a couple of gaps here. There we go. Now this system should go all the way up here. Top of this is where I want to go. Now you can see how this looks from up here. See how I have all of the uh, gaps there. And then I have this platform and I have that block there, which I will get rid of in a little bit. I have to eventually make a pillar going pretty far up uh, so that I can get up there and I put some of the platforms and things we'll do that in a little bit so let's um go back down and uh well maybe not let's go do the buckets now I probably can do that yeah we're gonna do the buckets okay so uh here we go now i don't know if you knew this or not but i'll show you here you can put one bucket down you see it's against this block okay that's gonna get rid of some of the torches i go two blocks over put another one and what that does is make this middle one a source block and you grab it and put one over and this way you don't have to go back over to the system and get more water okay and i'm slowly doing this whole entire thing just like this now the corners are a little bit different i'll show that in just a second there we go almost there the corner I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to grab another one and put it there. So I've started this corner up, okay? I'm going to grab it, I'm going to put it right in the corner spot, okay? And if you notice, everything kind of flows that direction. So let me finish this up, the water, and uh, see what you think about that. And now I am all done with this. You can see the water flows. All of the waters are flowing right to the center point, right here. So anything we put down, if we were to take the stick here and throw it out there, you can see it, it kind of floats down like a drain almost and goes into the hole. So that's what we want. That's the first step we want to do with this. Now, I am going to do a little bit of cleanup right now of this system because these spots can still spawn monsters if we're not careful. And I need to get some half slabs. And I'm going to put some half slabs around there and also up there. Okay, so let's go on down. Benefit of working over water is you can fall right through. And let's go and get uh, that many. Okay, that will give us plenty. Let's go on back up. And what we're going to do, like I said, we're just going to cap each of these things off so that no mobs can spawn on them. Okay, or fall down and take some damage. <laughs> oh, why don't we go all the way to the top instead? <laughs> okay, here we are. So let's see here. Let's just. Uh, around like this it's pretty easy but this will keep mobs from spawning and also makes it just slightly taller um, in case something wants to hit it uh, from falling over this way they you know just gives us better um, peace of mind as I guess I'd like to say okay let me finish capping this off and then we're gonna start the next project which is way up there it's the platforms so I'm ready to start to go up high now you can see here this block level is just lower than these this lower of these two right that means this one is the first block level this is the second block level from here to here this one is this, this uh, stone block you see on top right in the center 
is the same level as the stone slabs and the block that I'm standing on right now, okay? And we're gonna get rid of that in a little bit, but that counts as number one. I wanna go a total of 25. So we're gonna go 24 more blocks up and I'm gonna put ladders down. This is my way to get up there while I'm doing this maintenance here. So let's start this up to three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, this is counting with Tinker. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And there we go. And up here about is where we can do the first um, layer. I'm going to make six layers and a, a thing on top, okay? So now the trick is how do you get down? Well, we're going to go down with right jumping right here. Here we go. And we'll try to catch the ladder. We caught it one way or another, right? Now I can go right up and put this all the way up. And there we go. I've made the scaffold that I need to get up to the top. Okay. Let me get all the way finished here. Now, this block here is where I want the first layer to be. And I want it to be centered around that block where that block is. And I want it to go eight out from that side. So I have to get there first. I'm going to use slabs for this because I want to get there and figure out where this calculate where this is. Now, if you recall, this is five wide. Okay. So there, there's a gap. Okay, and then there's five wide, one, two, three, four, five, and then if you recall this here, let's see if we can count. It's, I believe, seven. Nope, it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the center piece, okay? So <clears throat> let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the center piece. Now I'm gonna mark the center piece with a piece of cobblestone so I know where that is. Okay, oop, not there, right there, okay. So now we're good to go. What I need to do now is create this platform out of stone slabs. And we're gonna do that right now and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. This layer is done. I've done it completely. You can see it goes out eight on this side, eight on this side if you count the blocks, eight on this side and eight on that side. So this is actually done. Now the center part here is where the actual mechanism of the water being dispensed and things happen. And I'm saving that for last. I just want to get these layers done. So I'm going to make five more of these layers. And so they have them stacked. And then we will be ready to work on the roof. Okay. So I'm going to take this out because I don't have a need to do this anymore. I'm just going to get rid of this. Here we go. I'm standing on the right place. And I'm just going to make this ladder, this ladder go up like three more blocks, make another layer, and do it five more times. I had to come back to get some more resources because I ran out of stone. So this is a good opportunity to see what it looks like as we come back from the, where I have my base. It should show up here in just a second. You'll start to see. There it is. There's my thing going up, and you can see the layers. I have not started the roof yet. That's the next thing I'm going to do. But you can see the layers. This is where they, the monsters will spawn. They'll get flushed out, spill down, and die. So it's looking really good. Now I've got to build a giant roof over this to keep the light level really dark. That's the next thing I'm going to do. And then after that is, uh, I think I'm going to uh, work my way up in the center column and arm the system, which is using dispensers and observers and water buckets. But uh, first, let me get the roof on, okay? Now comes the tricky part. I'm going to have to get onto this platform and, of course, shift the whole way, not die. I know I'm going to take some damage. Get on top of this block and go all the way up there and drill all the way up because I have to kind of go back down through to get this set up. I have to set up with dispensers and observers and then, of course, put the water buckets inside of the dispensers. So let's give this a shot. Let's see if I can get over there. Here we go. And shifting. Jumping, shifting. Oh, scary. Hey, I didn't take any damage so far. That's good, right? Okay. And so right above us should be the center line for all of that. And we're just going to go on up. So let me go all the way up. And in a second, we'll start arming the whole system. I made it to the top. Now we're going to start to do this process. The way it has to work is I have to come down here. I have to put an observer here. You can see the little red dot. That's how I know it's facing the right way. Go down another block and put a dispenser. Okay. Now that the dispenser is there, I have to put in a water bucket. And then I have to do the same thing here. And this is a little bit tricky because you got to be able to put it right with, you can't just put the observer here, okay? It has to be down here. There's got to be a block, but you have to place it against it. It's kind of tricky because you got to have a way to do that. And I hadn't thought about this, <laughs> but uh, here we go. We'll put this here. 
Okay. Now I got to get back down here. Let's do this real quick. Okay. And then you got to put the observer that way. One more. Put the observer. There it is. And then I can also fill this back in here. There we go. Get rid of this. Down to the block. Put a dispenser down, facing downwards, and fill it. Water bucket. And there we go. And I got to repeat this through all the levels until we get all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to do that now, and then uh, the system will be armed, and all that will be left will be the redstone. Now it's time to put in the redstone. Now this is, I'm going to use a video that I see for a, what's called a two stage upper clock. I want to have it go on for a little bit and then off for quite a long time so that the monsters can spawn and then do it again. So a long pulse and then a short pulse in essence. Okay, so what we want to do here is I'm trying to go through this, see what happens here. I'm going to put everything down except for the, there's a piece of redstone that'll go on top of that. I don't want to put that on there yet. So we'll just uh, see what happens here. Because if I do, it'll automatically fire and that's not good. So let me watch, look at this uh, tutorial here. And I'm seeing critters here, here, and redstone here. I'm just going through the tutorial. Let me build it up. I, I, I see if I can understand how it works. Um, it's a little confusing for me. I pride myself on understanding redstone, but this one kind of like scares me a little bit. It's got dual hopper clocks. Oh. Yeah, see how they're pointing into each other? That's one. And there's the other side. You got two different clocks going on here. That's part of the fun. Okay, and then from here, see, from this side, just a lot of stuff going on with this. Hmm. Block here. You know, another redstone torch going here. And a bunch of redstone here. Right? Now, if I put a piece of redstone on that, it'll cause it to go. We're going to put that on last. Let me finish building the rest of this and see how it looks. Okay, I think I'm about ready to go. Basically, it looks like what's going on here is that these lines here on the ends are locking these hoppers. Okay, so that's why they're not moving their bricks. I've got 30 bricks in this one, 10 in here. So when I flip this lever, it will basically kill this circuit here, lets them flow, and it'll cause this to work. So I'm going to fire this up real quick. Probably because of the observer. There it is. And all that's going to wipe out all of the torches and everything should work down here. I don't know if I can see it down there. Kind of hard to see. But it should spread over it. And there it goes. Okay, excellent. Now, let's start this process up. Watch it and listen and see if it got the timings right. Okay, click. Okay, now they all should be cleaning up. Now we've got to pause. This should pause. Okay, now it didn't pause long enough. You know, this is the longer pause. So basically, the whole system is inverted. I'm going to have to figure this out. Because see how it's a long pause? Right. In just a little bit, it'll go again. There we go. Short pause. Long pause. Okay, let me uh, get this reversed. And then we'll see how it works. Okay, I already hear monsters spawning on here. You can hear them. And you can see none of the platforms are lit up water. Lit up are flooded with water, flowing water, and there's nothing down there. I'm going to turn the system on now, and we'll see what happens, okay? Go click. Here goes the flushing mechanism. Okay. Yeah, I saw something die down there. And there's the flooding at the bottom. Okay, now it seems like the timer is long and short the wrong way, so I'm going to fix that one more time, and then we should be good to go. I took back some of the materials, and now we're heading back over to the farm. You can see it looks pretty nice there. You can also see where I've built the AFK spot up top, and we're going to go up there right now with some glass and make a little glass enclosure. I think that would look kind of cool, and uh, we're going to turn this on in a second. Now, I did empty out, pretty much empty out the chests down here, so there are some drops from the farm. We'll check that out real quick here. You see we've got some arrows, string, rotten flesh, bone, and 
a piece of gunpowder. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the top and we're going to finish this thing, fire up the farm, and I'm gonna go AFK for a little bit. So let's uh, let's go figure this out. It's already getting kind of noisy. That's great. I'm gonna turn the farm on. I put a sign here. Here we go. It is on. And we're gonna go hide up in the AFK spot, and I'm gonna go AFK for about a half an hour, and we'll see what kind of drops we have received. Okay. So the AFK spot is you go all the way up to here, stand on this stone brick block right here, and you're good. This is a nice little uh, protected area. You can kind of see out. Should be good to go. So let me uh, AFK for here, half hour. All righty. A half hour has gone by. Let's go see what we have done here. We're going to turn this off first before we go down. Make sure that it's, everything's good. You don't probably want to keep this on when you walk away. You definitely want to turn it off before we go anywhere else. It's off. There we go. And we'll take the shortcut down. That. And here we are. Now let's go look at this chest. And you remember what I had? There wasn't a lot in this chest. Let's go see what there is in here now. Oh, let's see here. So it looks like we are still filling out this chest. There's probably a couple things in here. Yes, there is. Almost a full chest of various items. Looks pretty good. We got some glowstone, probably from some witches and some redstone and some bottles. But that's looking fantastic. We have a lot of items in here. This farm is working great. Well, everybody, that's all I have time for today. I want to finish this up probably in the next video where I will do a sorting system for the items that come out and make the bottom part where those chests are behind me, make those a little bit better so that we can have a good system for getting all these items, standing up there, sorting through, looking at things, and we can let this run. But it's working great, and that's what I really wanted to see. So anyway, that's about it. If you like this video, you there. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section down 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 in the comment section and if you'd like to be notified of the videos i produce please subscribe to this channel <laughs> if you're new here also please subscribe it really does help out the youtube creators again i am tinker 77 thank you for joining me have a great night bye bye